How's it going everybody? My name is Timothy Mickelson. I'm the developer of Visual Spigot. Just wanted to make a quick introduction video going over some of the cool features included in, in, the, in the application um, for people just downloading it and stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first things first, when you're installing the app, you are going to be greeted to a pop-up from Windows. Uh, I'm not super proud of it, but uh, I don't have money for the code signing certificate required to uh, get rid of it. So for now, it's just going to have to be a thing until I can afford to... Uh, get a you know get that taken care of but anyway um, also I release updates for the application once a week so if unless it's a you know if it's breaking the app I'll obviously try to push it out a lot sooner so people can use it which uh, so far there hasn't been any issues like that that have really kept um, everybody from being able to use it but anyway with that being said let's go ahead and start the application all right so first thing we want to do is add a server so I'm going to click add server we're going to drag and drop this spigot 1.8.8 jar. Just drag and drop it, and it'll automatically generate the server files for you. And click start, and it is that simple. Um, oh, we already have I already have paper installed. Well, let me go ahead and delete this so I can actually. <laughs> awesome. So at the same time as this is going, we're going to go ahead and we're going to download paper. We'll just do 1.9.4. Why not? So just to kind of show you how easy it is to maneuver around this application, do multiple things at once. So first thing we need to do is change the port of paper 1.9.4 because they're both defaulted to 25565. To do that, at the bottom right, you'll see a cog. Click it, click server files, and uh, go to server properties. You can actually edit files um, in this little uh, file explorer that I made. So 25566, click save, exit, start. Awesome. So another cool feature I added um, for developers, and well, really anybody, but um, primarily for developers, is the ability to just drag and drop plugins onto the, into the console, and it'll add them to the plugins folder, or it'll replace if it, replace it if it's already existing. Um, so just uh, here I got three plugins here, so uh, just drag and drop them. Just uh, grab them, drag them and drop them. That's all there is to it. They're all three added, and if we go to our server files and go to plugins, there they are, right there. Uh, if you want to open a directory in File Explorer, just click Open External, and it'll open it up on your desktop. Uh, for now, this is how you have to, like, you know, if you want to move stuff around, you do it there. You can't do any of that there uh, in this one. This is a very basic File Explorer. It's not meant to be super, you know, in-depth. <laughs> You know, um, it's just, it's really just meant for quick and easy access to these files. Uh, you can edit YMLs, JSON files, anything you want. Um, so, anyway, it's pretty cool. But anyway, to delete files, uh, hover, over, hover over a file and press delete. And you can also delete directories. Delete. I delete folders, but uh, anyway. All right, so. Let's go ahead and go over global commands. So global commands are basically a list of commands I created to be able to control the servers from the um, input right here, so the console input. So we're going to stop the server by doing period. That's how you um, start a global command with a period. And then we're going to hit stop. And then you can start it. And then you can kill it. Uh, so there's a l it's kind of cool, you know, if you don't want to like uh, leave the input, you don't have to. Anyway, so I have one called path, which will actually copy the directory to your clipboard. There you go, server path copied to clipboard, and then control V, and there you go. Um, I have one called open, which will actually open uh, directories on your Windows desktop. So we'll just do open, there you go, opens the root directory of the server. And if we wanna like open a specific file, we could do like open, plugins, plugin metrics. There we go, look at that. So it's pretty nice, pretty handy stuff. Um, and then obviously you can clear the console by doing that clear. So, and then to delete a file, let's go ahead and stop this. To delete a file, go to the cog at the bottom right, hit delete server. There you go. Server has been deleted. Um, I added a few. Um, uh, if you have any suggestions, by the way, please go to the Discord and leave a suggestion. Uh, if there's any jars you use that you want added to the downloads, just let me know. I don't mind adding it. Um, uh, I'll usually look at it first to make sure, you know, it's, I don't want to just be adding random jars to the downloads list. You know, some of the, these are used by quite a few people. That's the only reason why I added them. So anyway, uh, the Discord's in the description. Uh, feel free to join. 
Uh, let me see. Let me think here. I think that's about about all I wanted to go over, honestly. Um, so anyway, I really hope you guys enjoy the application, uh, and I look forward to hearing your feedback. Um, all right, take it easy.